Now, right now, we have a very special viewer to big up right now. Big up Akim from Anguilla. Akim, you always get the feedback them and all them things. Big up the whole Anguilla team right now. Akim, keep it locked to the show. We'll soon come over Anguilla and we're going to come take over Anguilla. All right? So right now we're moving on with the show. Big up Global Bob. Big up the whole team that went over to Europe. Come carry Jamaican culture far, don't it? So right now, Global Bob, here what? Here what the dance officer Pre this, you know it's another big bad interview. Right now we're here with Global Bob himself. Now Global Bob, definitely a dancer. Taking dancehall music and dancing to more than what you might call a professional level. In Siberia, we saw our, foot, our pictures on the wall. It was life size, two times our real, actual size in life. So, I mean, to see that, you know, is a historic moment to know that it's the first dancehall acts in a country like this. Bobby, you know what I mean? Talk to me about, you know, with school you got to, you know what I mean? Which area you come from? All them things. Just tell me more about your background and them something there. All right. I'm from St. Andrew Park, right on Mullines Road. Yeah, man. That's the best community because right there and then, that is where you have downtown studio, you have Madhouse, that was Dave Kelly. And then you have the great Chinna Smith. So there's a lot of musicians, so music in the atmosphere right around. And when I say Chinna Smith, I mean Chinna Smith are the number one guitarist worldwide. Yeah, man. So, you know, so it's a musical environment. Then now, schooling from Woolmans Prep come right up. Woolmans boys and then we went on now for the education at the University of Technology and that is where I obtained a bachelor's degree in marketing and a minor in banking and finance. We have 30 students coming to Jamaica in January so we even improving tourism. 30 students coming from Poland, from Ukraine, from Russia to experience Jamaica's culture. So if it was the same in Russia and Jamaica you know they wouldn't have to travel right? You see, in terms of dancing, to play with the Russians, them catch very quickly. But you see, a dancer like myself and Arville Hall, what we went over there to do, we were... I'm going to say this, I'm going to say it without an apology. No other two dancers couldn't have went on this tour and did what we did. Because it's not just about dancing, it's about teaching the technique of dance hall. Alright, you just completed a tour of basically Europe and Asia. What was that? Well, groundbreaking, phenomenal, historic. I just the more they have to use feet because you know it's taking dancehall dance to a next level. Mm -hmm. Dancehall has been out there, but we're talking about dancehall dancing where when I feel get the kind of justice where it's supposed to get in a Jamaica. So now myself and Global Bob mm -hmm. go shut up a, a, a tour, you know, where truly historic and dancers need to be proud of we too, you know, yeah. because we are open now some some ways some. Some new places for them now for go out there, go earn them money and don't depend upon the artist in Jamaica and feel like them have a tour with no artist. You know, this is things where dancers can do individually you now, you know. Yeah. I see you stress on the word historic. Yeah, man. Describe to me what makes this tour so historic. Right, the first thing is two Jamaican dancers did an exclusive tour independent of any artist yeah. and did seven cities in a country where not even dance all da um, dance all DJs got yeah. to. Well, you don't know it's all about priests. So right now, inside mothers, and mothers, trust me, have the greatest cheese party in the world. As a matter of fact, mothers have the greatest party. So, right now, you don't know, but a few more, I'm going to get my own. So, just walk, go and chill out. That's the thing there. Everybody know dance a legend, general degree. Well, general degree. Of a clothing line, of course, big up the whole reggae family. But right now, he's back on the business scene with a brand new water called Quenchables. <laughs> Check it out. We know General agree with all of them bad songs from way back in the past. I was still a live pun right now. It was a good music, don't it? But right now, General agree, you venture off into the business world. And we can see with the reggae shirt and all of them things they yeah, say. Yeah, Definitely. Talking. Business or go good, but let's step away from the shirt a little bit and talk about the newest thing on the market right now the quenchable well, the water. Thing, I didn't quenchable water right now, legally on the shelf right now of Lee's Food Fair. I have, have Reddit's Road manager, all right, yes. So you don't know that's what's happening right now. Quenchable, why water? Well, I mean, it's just a venture that I think that um, I want to be more household because I come on the scene, scene as a household artist, busting yeah. a church, everything with granny. I mean, I just think having a product, coming out with a product is just good to keep it on the same trend, you know, in everybody's house. Yeah. 
And that was what I was thinking. Just try to be on everybody's table from old, young, you name it. One of the most difficult things is to get it out there. The distribution, get it on shelves like these because, you know, it's very important and it's not easy to get it on such a shelf like a Lee's Food Fair. So, um, you know, I did my proper research, I did my proper works um, and get my thing here right now. And, I'm, and this is just on one of the locations I'm at right now, yeah? Where else other than Lee's Food Fair we can get this quenchable water? Um, well, you can get this water um, at Bourne's Texaco gas station. Um, first choice supermarket. A um, couple shops in Portmore. I don't know them name, but couple shop. yeah, couple shop there. Eh? And a few more um, places. But right now we're setting up the, the the promotion where people can know exactly where to go. So for right now, at least food fair right now. One of the main places on Riddles Road. You can get it. And I said Bourne's gas station, off Kansas Spring Road. Yeah, man, quenchable, quenchable. You see. Remember, get the quenchable water. Pretty this, don't it? General degree, we're there the same way. Boom. All right, so now we're in the league, honey. I am Crody. You know it's all about pretty this. Right now, going for a third and final commercial break. Stay tuned. Pretty this.